Blackbusters. What's cracking, family? Welcome to Blackbusters, the best movie critic, critique, review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, in Craig. In the world, Craig. I'm your host, Big Ja, mm -hmm. and this is my co-host. Brother Tone. Brother Tone, Big Tone, and we are here with the homie, my bro. Thank you for coming, sir. Brother Keenan Baker. Oh, man. Here yes, we go. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank y'all, brothers, man. I'm glad to be here, man. I'm yeah. the, the smallest nigga in the room. I hey, appreciate it's all that. good, man. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. Biggest love, brain. Man. Yeah. Biggest brain, bro. And the beard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, man. man. <laughs> Thank you for showing up and tapping in, brother. Of course, man. This is about to be dope. Um, I'm, I'm interested in hearing your, your, your take on, on this film. You know what I'm saying? I got a great take on this film, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to get to it, man. man. Let's just get straight to it. We are now today doing a review on the film Soul Food. Mm. <sighs> Mama. Mama. The movie <laughs> is as good as Soul Food Tastes. Love my views like food. Ooh, loving you like food to my soul. Mm -hmm. All right. This movie is written and directed by George, George Tillman Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, it is starring Vanessa Williams. Top tier. Uh, top tier. Top tier. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, Vivica Fox, mm -hmm. Nia Long, yep. Mackay Pfeiffer. Uh, it's, a, it's a great one. Michael Beach as well. Mm -hmm. Uh it's a great one, man. Um, I love it. It's it's about a, a family in Chicago, uh, and they're um a family of sisters and uh husbands and some cousins as well. Yeah. And they're all the, the 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 glue of this family in Chicago is held together by their mother. They call her Mama Joe. Mm -hmm. All right. So the 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 movie, they love each other. They every weekend, every Sunday they have Sunday dinner. That's a tradition, a 40 year tradition. So um it's just it's a story about these 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 daughters and and their uh and the son, one of the sons actually. The the main character is almost mm -hmm. the boy. Yep. Mm -hmm. The boy Ahmad. Ahmad. Mm -hmm. He's about probably the age of either between ten and twelve years old. Mm -hmm. And he's basically the narrator of this film. He's discussing the film the, his world from his point of view. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So he talks about his mom who plays Vivica Fox, his father who was a uh, um I, I always Jeffrey Sams, mm -hmm. his, his father Kenny. So he comes from a parent of two parent home, Kenny and um Vivica. Her name is Maxine in the movie and they're in love. They're good they're good parents. Great Sims, family. A yeah. great family. Yeah. And he also uh talks about his auntie, the youngest of the of the bunch, is her name is Bird. Bird. Um, played by Nia Long. Mm -hmm. And she just newly got married. To my man to, Lem. To Lem. Played yeah. by Makai Pfeiffer. <laughs> young so Makai Pfeiffer. The movie starts off with a young wedding. Young Makai Pfeiffer. Uh -huh. A young a young Makai Pfeiffer. And um the third daughter in the movie is uh Vanessa Williams. She's mm -hmm. the oldest mm -hmm. and she's the the most accomplished. She's a lawyer. Aunt Terry. Uh, Aunt Terry. Mm -hmm. She's um, a lawyer. She's married to a man who's another lawyer as well. And uh, Michael Beach's character, his name is, uh, what's his name? His name is Miles. Mm -hmm. Right? And so that's the family dynamic, the three moms, I mean, the three daughters of Mama Joe, and uh, and the youngest, the, the oldest son of Maxine, the, uh, uh, Maxine's character, uh, which is played by Vivica Fox. His name is Ahmad, and he's basically narrating the whole movie. Yep. And seeing how the movie is kind of they're held together. The three daughters are the families are held together by this mom, by Big Mama, basically. Mm -hmm. Big Mama, her name is Mama Joe. She's the voice. She's the voice of reason. She's the basically the authority as well. Because even though these women are grown, they have their own husbands, mm -hmm. and um, they also listen to her for guidance. And the 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 husbands, for the most part, they chose good men, yeah. solid dudes, yeah. You know, uh, Kenny Baker has made a, a face. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, boom. <laughs> so, basically, Mama Jo is older. She's elderly, and she uh, gets oh. sick. She has diabetes. And as good as a woman she is, she's a great mother, great grandmother, but she is stubborn. Yeah. She's setting her ways. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really believe in medicine in the old remedy. She thinks that everything could be, you know, I'll taken put some care of. of my roots on it. Yeah. Some of my herbs. Old remedies is going to take care yeah. of her diabetes. <laughs> throw some butter on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, throw some, some butter, butter on my right, arm. Right. What are you talking about? You got fire. seared just yeah. now, mama. <laughs> right. So she, uh, she has diabetes, but she's in denial. Mm -hmm. she's, she's, she's very stubborn, and she doesn't take her medication, nor does she take 
the, the good care of herself when it comes to eating. Hence, the movie's called Soul Food. Mm -hmm. And we all know soul food is delicious, but it's not the best for you. Right. You know, it's not the healthiest type of food to yeah. eat. Yeah. yeah. And they eat it every weekend, every Sunday at least. Mountains of it. You're right. At mountains least. of it. Every day. It's mountains not, of it. And it's not like soul food where you go, we got fried chicken, mm -hmm. peas, mashed potatoes, and corn. No. It's not just that. It's, it's like fried chicken, catfish, catfish. ham, mm -hmm. yeah. peach cobbler. Uh, it's like three or four different meats mm -hmm. a night. And you know everything is soaked in lard. Everything, everything is soaked in lard. Everything butter. is soaked in lard. <laughs> so um, there's all three of the daughters have like their own lifestyles. The oldest one is uh, Vanessa, Vanessa Williams. Mm -hmm. She has a husband. They don't have any kids, but they've been married for years. Mm -hmm. And they're both lawyers, very goal-oriented. They established that they're ballers. They both got bread. <laughs> at the, yeah. at the, at the top of the movie. Yeah. yeah. They established that they rich. They yeah. both got money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they live together in like a high rise or yep. something like that. And so uh, to where on the top of the roof in Chicago, like he has his own little music studio. His own yep. studio. You know, uh, the the second oldest is Vivica Fox's character. Her they husband, feel like working class. Yeah. Just blue, like just like blue collar. Yeah. I think she's like a home, a, white, uh, yeah. a housewife. Yeah. yeah. She's a housewife. And I can tell from from... His jacket that, like, you know, either he's blue a collar. mechanic, mm -hmm. you blue know, collar. blue collar, service, yeah. service work. Yeah, but he makes decent money. They live yeah. in a nice house. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, and he's just a good dad. Yeah. And he loves his wife. He loves his kids. And Ahmad, the main character, the boy, he, he has a younger sister that's, like, maybe four. Yeah. And his mom is pregnant with another uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. And so... The youngest is Nia Long. She just got married, literally, like at the beginning of the movie, to her boyfriend, her fiance, who who plays Makai Pfeiffer. Yep, Lim. And Lim, and she owns her own hair her hair uh, salon. Mm. Um, from the due to her oldest sister, the lawyer with bread, mm -hmm. giving her the loan to open up the hair salon. Yeah, and she could do her hair. Yeah, boom. What you got to say about that? Let's, let's, All of that. Yeah, and then not you can talk talk. What do you? Because so my thing is, uh, I made a statement about. The daughters marrying all three of the husbands are mm. the decent dudes, solid dudes. Are they? Um, <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> How? I, well, we're talking about, well, let's start from the top. Michael Beach's character, Miles. Initially, initially. Okay. Solid he's dude. solid. Okay, that's right? fair. He, he's, he's, a, he, he's an earner. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he, he's successful. Uh -huh. He got a wife. Mm -hmm. He's solid. And all he wants to do is do some music on the side. Yep. Okay. Right and love his wife. Mm -hmm. He wants to dance with her occasionally while they're playing, while she's cooking, and the music is playing. He wants to grab his wife and do a little dance with her. And this the night. is what also is evidence that that, that these are good dudes. Um, they show up to family functions. I was just about to say that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Like you can like as a husband. You don't have to go. You don't have to sign in on all of these family events. I'm one of them. Every I, I, Sunday, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it. You can find okay. an excuse to Damn. get out. I get it. I don't so like it. So the fact that they show up means that, like, okay, that's okay. pretty significant. All right, let's let's let's, let's go with Lim, the, mm -hmm. the jailbird. Right, oh, let's, no, no, let's start with let's start with me, uh, Miles. Miles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, what, let's start with who you want to start with. Okay, let's start yeah. with let's we can start with Miles. I, at the beginning of the movie or so, he's he's a solid man. Only thing I didn't like was that. I mean, when you take money out of the joint account without saying mm -hmm. anything, that's a problem. I don't yeah, care okay. what it's for. If you, that's what he did. He took about, it's only $5,000, but that's a lot of money technically mm -hmm. right. out of the joint account without saying a, a, a goddamn thing to your lady. <laughs> right. You, she just, the scolding that he, she gave him mm -hmm. warranted. But besides that, up until that point, fair, he's yeah. fine. Right. Lim. Uh-huh. Joe Berg. Uh-huh. All right. This nigga's terrible. Out the gate, terrible. Slapping, terrible. Sl out the gate, he's the terrible at the wedding. The sure. wedding, he's, he's terrible at the wedding. Ass, oh, for okay. sure, getting grinded okay, all. I forgot yeah. about that. He damn near. He probably could have came. Yeah, he probably could have came on her. Yeah, yeah. He like they, shot up. He he dry. They dry humped. Mm -hmm. I think that was out of. I think that was out of character for his character. No, no that was not out of character for his character. You he know had why? A, he throughout, had a bottle in his hand. Not even that. Throughout the movie. He looks at the cousin that comes through. Remember Faith? This He's looking true. at her like, oh, shit, this goddamn. Is okay, right. then, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, we ain't waiting nothing. Wait, you yeah. asked me to say how these niggas are terrible or not. Right. Mm -hmm. This niggas right now is terrible. Right now, out the gate, he's already a jailbird. Mm -hmm. He ain't got a job, right? He is already slapping ass. No, he had a job. He, he had got a, fired. That's fine. Uh huh. Because he lied. Because mm -hmm. he's a liar. He's a no. Damn, damn kid. <laughs> damn. Hold on, hold on. I got you. Uh, no, I want to say we got to we got to just dissect this fully, right? Right. So once you start doing that, all this at your wedding. First of all, who invited your ex? Yeah. Why, yeah. why yeah. would you I, invite I, your I, ex? I think that was bad this writing. This is a great point. 
for the the guest list for the for, I think for the wedding the story. was out of control. I think that's, that, that's, the, that's the writer's fault. <laughs> right. Brother Tillman, why would you have his... Why couldn't she just be a drunk homegirl of, mm -hmm. a, uh, of a family member yeah. who was that's, just there? That's fair. Mm -hmm. But then on the flip side, Everybody, who went by the bird's ex? Everybody's ex was in right. there. Now bird's ex is there mm -hmm. on her end. She gets some dollar stuff down her bra. And don't yeah. say shit. Don't say anything. Don't smack his hand away. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Not even right. just that. If this is my family, mm -hmm. we're not going to beat them up in the wedding. We ain't going to do that. We're going to keep it classy. But we're going to grab them. Hey, man, mm -hmm. we talk to you outside real quick. Yeah, yeah. No, You're going to get handled in the parking lot for mm -hmm. damn sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it ain't even going down that way. Right, right, right. They did none of that. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> none right, of that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. All right. Let's go into Max's husband. Uh huh, Maxine. Mm -hmm. Maxine. Okay, I know you want to go with it, nigga. I know you. You going <laughs> back in nineteen going in the past? Eighty three. I get it. Eighty three. And, and no, I get it. Do you understand how like you that's shady, bro? That's horrible. Now, now, the sister let me ask of you this: people, man. Would this be okay if it was high school? Huh? No. Here's the thing: it's just, it's just, it's family. You t you went into uh -huh. you double dipped in family. It, well, it, if, here's the thing: if it was like a home girl, it'll still be mm -hmm. messed up. But it's like, all right, you double dipped. And family. And let me tell you something. Terry ain't bad looking. Terry, ba she, she yeah, fine. She's bad think, as fuck. She bad as fuck. All, yeah. all of them. Honestly, from a casting standpoint, this is three of the hottest black women in Hollywood at the big time. Facts, mm -hmm. big facts. I was like, this is one of the best castings yep. I've seen in a while for yep, a movie yep, like this. Yep. Three of the most beautiful black women, right? Cool. All different complexions, too. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But you do that. So out the gate, this dude's intentions are terrible. He, uh, that's not a good man, bro. If you gonna sit and say, "Hey, they decent brothers," you out your damn mind, bro. Nah, man. So, so I, I, un I understand. I understand exactly what you're saying. With one point, it's obvious he loves his wife, right? Like it's obvious. So it's just almost like you gotta you gotta give him the the benefit of a panoramic view. If you look at him at just that particular incident, totally shady. Let me ask you. And if his behavior as a husband. Was consistent, was consistent with that moment. He was looking at other chicks. That's different. Point. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real yeah. quick. And they made it seem that black that uh, that uh, flashback mm -hmm. at the at the bowling ring mm -hmm. at the at the, at the uh, uh, skating ring. Mm -hmm. That was a first date. They made it seem like we don't know. Yeah, based on mm -hmm. what they, she was like. Um, um, if you, you know, back in the day, you had to go with your sister. Yeah. Because we don't it know. Felt like case, it felt like a first date. It felt like a first date. It felt like a first date. He had just met her. They mm -hmm. on it. They had the skating rink. And when he saw Maxine, he was like, oh, This shit. is my energy. This is my speed. How many times have you met a girl and you go around her fa her, ha her house mm -hmm. and you seen her sister or her her neighbor or her homegirl be like, damn. In your yeah. mind, you be like, damn. You might not say nothing. And you might you not even like, act on it, but you might. I'm a, this I'm is my energy. I probably should have told That's her. my hey, speed. Hey, hey, Key phrase there. Mm -hmm. Act on it. So <laughs> you don't act on it. It's yeah. the first day, possibly. Yeah. Possibly. We don't know that. So we're making up a whole. You, for your argument, you're going to be like, hey, it might e be a first e day. E even if it's a. How did, he, he, was a solid, he was a solid husband. And a solid father. And it wasn't like he was trying to smash sisters. Yeah. It wasn't like he tried to smash sisters. He married that girl. Married her. That's and, a fact. And built a family. And built a family. That's, that's why I give him a pass. Okay. I gotta I give him a pass, I understand. Bro. I understand your point. But <laughs> that shouldn't be a scarlet letter that haunts them. And the only thing that, that I think is interesting about this family is this family does not seem to have, like, a really good... Uh, measurement of the past. Everybody right. can sit at the table despite what the fuck they just did. Right. <laughs> recently. Sure. Right. This family, like, this family does not, you know, so... I, I was just going to say, all right, flip, flip, flip it. If somebody did that to you, right? Uh -huh. Somebody, a girl that you was with, you know, you out with her and all of a sudden, I don't know if you have a brother or a, sibling, a brother or not. I anything. Do. You do. They older than me though, but yeah. But let's say y'all was close to the same age within two or three years and y'all already have a sibling rivalry because mm -hmm. you got to remember that. They have a sibling rivalry. This isn't just like sisters. They have yep, a sibling right. rivalry going yep. on. Right. And he don't know that though, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> they're know. They're siblings. Mm -hmm. So this girl is with you, sees your brother and goes, ah, I'm going for it. And just now marries your brother. Mm -hmm. You're telling me. And maybe with your mindset now, you might be like, oh, nigga, it's just some player shit. It's just like it is what it is. Like mm -hmm. he, he got it. He got it. But there will always be some type of built up anger in you, at least been like a little, at least a little bit of animosity towards most people. They'll be they will feel a way about it that. It depends on the person. Because me personally, mm -hmm. I've if the nigga, if the chick shows up mm -hmm. on the nigga, he's, he's, he's it my ain't brother. about choosing up. You got to remember something. Terry is on her second marriage. Mm -hmm. Terry is looking at her life 
that could have been three kids or two and a possible. Yeah. Right. Terry is looking at But that was now, so long ago. You can't blame but it, him. But she but she says that she goes, look, when when all the stuff ends up coming down, what mm. did she say? She goes, look, oh, I always no. think about what yeah. would have happened between us two. Because she knew he was a great guy, yeah. up, at least from the No, happened. you just said it. You just said it. That was a good dude, bro. She, it, but until he, he chose the whatever he chose. He chose. But what I'm saying is it's like that whole time she is looking at it like, yo, that's why, in my personal opinion, Terry is the protagonist of this movie and everybody else is the antagonist. Okay. They are plotting to oh, fuck wow. her throughout this whole movie. Wow, nigga. Interesting. Kenny Baker has a hot take. Interesting. That's a hot take. Is it a hot take? Terry. So, hold on. So, <laughs> Terry. So, all right. I got to go back to Lynn real quick. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This yeah. this guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so you from the crib and you from here. How many niggas do you know? That's solid dudes that went to jail once. Is that about? And that, oh, hold on, ha, go, go ahead. Hold on. So you, so you say they good dudes. They good dudes. So if you say off that he's a he's a shitty nigga. I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, I know a lot of niggas that been locked up yeah. before. Not, not saying just because of that. Mainly and, and, because the whole and based off what he did, he was he, he went he did something with his cousin. He was out of from out of town. That's mm -hmm. fair. He did something with his cousin that he shouldn't have did, that's, and he got locked up. That's fair. Okay. My thing is throughout the, these circumstances with him, right? He makes a lot of dumb decisions. This is a dumb guy. I, Hold on, I, wait, I wait. Disagree, I disagree, home boy. Hold on. I let, disagree. Let me, let me get my whole shit out, right? Mm -hmm. So he he's locked up. So we know we we only know what he's locked up for, but he's locked up, right? That's mm -hmm. fine. All right, I I I I so I, I, even, I, 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 I even give you that. That's this, not that this, bad. That did time before. It doesn't mean that's he's fine. a bad dude for sure. One hundred percent. He's not. He's not available. Could have got seven. And he's young, dude. And he's a young dude that's getting married. I think mm -hmm. he went too far with the uh with the lady dancing with the girl. But here's the thing. He's looking for a lick. He was looking for easy come up with her man with bird. But listen, listen. No, he was nigga. Stop it. No, Keenan, stop it. I, wait, I, wait, wait, wait! My life look, ain't looking good right wait, now. Wait, wait. A business owner. So, so he's dancing with a girl. Um, he's and he's dancing with a girl that he went too far with. Now, I'm thinking as a as a young dude watching that movie, it's foreshadowing that he's going to be a player type nigga. He's going to cheat on Bird. That never happened. That never manifested. Never manifested. Never, never, manifested, never, never was manifested. even an inkling of that. The movie could only be two hold hours long. But, but hold on. But, but there's enough time to get mm -hmm. that in there. That could have been the reason why they, she she left him mm -hmm. as opposed to him going to jail. She didn't leave him. But if they if, if the plot had to had, had them starting here and then going here, mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's going to go there because he's fucked around with another chick. Here's Here's, that's not the case. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. And so... Um, and he had a job. He did lie about. He lied mm -hmm. about his application. Not yeah. the worst thing in the world. But because he, why he lied? Mm -hmm. For this, we saw why that he went on six, six um um uh, interviews, interviews, and got none. They're not trying to hire him, so he mm -hmm. had to Tell lie mm -hmm. in his mind. I was literally watching this with my lady. I said, "Oh, this this nigga quit after six interviews. That's not a lie. He didn't quit. No, he didn't quit. He just I didn't quit. Just like, I went on six. That ain't enough for me." You need. I understand. He said this week, this, Here, bro. He could have went on a lot more interviews. <laughs> I'm kind of hard on this dude. He hard on Lim. That's what I'm saying. I ain't hard, hard on, on Lim. The reason why I'm hard on Lim, the kids. He showed the kid he a gun. A, he, had he, had a, a, he had a gun in his glove. He show him a gun. He forgot <laughs> what you had. Here. For, he don't sound smart to me. You know why he was smart, Here's, dude? I, I didn't say smart. I didn't say smart. I said he was a solid dude. No. So he no. I I would go so far as to say this. I think this was Kena, you crazy. This was really important. This is really important. Lim sought counsel. Of the most stand up guy Come on, in his, man. In his I don't network. make the best decision, but this guy seemed to have it all together. He, he showed up at the house and knocked on the door. Oh, the oh, guy that chose his sister. You're right. Said, I lost yes. I lost my that job happens, today. Nigga. Yeah. That he happens. sought counsel. From the best guy out of a shitty group of men. And right, based cool, on what you. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> right. and, and mm -hmm. based off of Terry, the protagonist, yeah. she can't keep a husband. Mm hmm. Right, so she probably wouldn't even. She probably wouldn't even got that far with this dude. Uh, Possibly, um, what's his name? Kenny. Because mm -hmm. Kenny, Kenny chose the better woman. Yeah, did you know what I'm saying he did. What's wrong with Maxine? Maxine was fun. She was. She was. She was full of energy. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean that's what you know. That's what um, Michael Beach was saying. What Miles was saying. We used to have fun. You used you know? to be fun, yeah. Even, he, he, they still, she just popped out a baby, and they he, they dancing. They mm. they were still romantic. They were still romantic. You know what I'm hey. They were still talking dirty to one another. Yeah. I feel they like they were still in each other's what's ear. What's wrong, Maxine? I mean, I feel like besides Terry, they didn't have. They wasn't right financially. They didn't care about this because they weren't paying for anything. For what when it mean? comes down to the house, mm -hmm. they were just like, you can't sell the house because blah, 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 nobody's paying anything for the I house. I get that. Mm -hmm. You know I get what I'm that. saying? How you even, say even with, with, talking about like, let's not have Sunday dinner. It's like, I don't think we should be having Sunday dinner because, you know, mama's in a hospital. What you talking about? We can't have no Sunday dinner. It's like, mm -hmm. bro, of that's all my, things. That's tradition. Mama even said it yeah. before she got sick. A 40, a 40 year tradition. I, hey, I'm man, not stopping that. She in the, she's in the hospital because of that 40 year tradition. 
But, forget but, all that. Get the, that that's <laughs> true. That's, that's, forget all that, man. Yeah, but that's you saying that. You, but no, what I'm is saying, he but, wrong for trying to keep his tradition on? I'm saying is that sounds a little selfish. That's what that sounds like to me. It's like, yo, we're not we're we're not looking at the things that are happening. What happened to Big Mama? We're not looking at those things. Terry's going from a perspective of like, yeah, she might she might be she might have a stick up her ass from mm -hmm. a, into a sense, right? To but, a, a huge sense, yeah. That's 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 I understand. That. I'm not debating that. Mm -hmm. But I would say at the end of the day, she's the most responsible, right? She has literally what she always reminds everyone. Yeah. And which, right. which I'm not a fan <laughs> of. Right. Yeah, I'm not a fan whack. of. Literally, <laughs> right. one of my dad's ex wives whose name the same name was yeah. that that's how she acted. Mm -hmm. But uh <laughs> mm -hmm. but um I will say from a responsible standpoint of all the sisters. She was one of the most responsible. She was trying to keep stuff together from a financial standpoint mm -hmm. and a best decision standpoint, whereas everybody else was making decisions for them. If you are the oldest sibling in something, or if you are, you're the one that's taking care of all the finances, all the stuff for mama, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody's saying they want to do what they want to do. It's like, bro, y'all ain't going to just be doing what y'all want to do. Y'all not even helping her out for real. Y'all letting her eat what she wants to eat. Mm -hmm. Y'all know she's supposed to be taking certain things. Y'all letting her do this. We need to chill out for a second. Let's group gather up. Oh, she was also... Mm -hmm. She was also letting her mother eat what she wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. they she were was cooking, at the, they were she was cooking at the, dinner. She was in the kitchen when too. she got burnt up. <laughs> That's true. But what she said, true. she only cooked the cornbread well. Yeah. Maxine was out there cooking all the, but, the bad food that was killing everybody. So you sitting there saying she's a great woman. She was killing she nah. was killing Big oh, Mama. But, hey, she hey, was hey, killing Big Mama with the food she was making. That's a great point. That because she was in the kitchen cooking too. Let, let, but, let's, talk, like, let's talk about this. Let's talk about how she didn't support her husband. Boom. She not no damn protagonist. Now he he cheated. He's trash for that. Before he cheated, she he, he asked her, just come to my show. He she tried. wasn't. She, he he wanted. And come, who come showed up with me? Look at him. He he don't have nothing to say no, to no, that. Keep going. He don't have nothing to say to that. She he asked her, can you just come? I want to I want to uh um do some music for the last three he weeks in a row. For the last three weeks, you can't even come to a show. You keep saying you got too much work to do. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Come on, that's not fair. No, I'm, I'm saying that's fair. What you're arguing? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not arguing. So, and yeah. who showed up? <laughs> and she showed up, like. As a man, with something that you're passionate about, if you can't share that passion with your wife, right, that's a really significant thing. But cousin saw cousin it. Yeah, she saw it, and she saw what he was trying to do, and she supported and, and him. And she supported him. His wife never supported. And she, right. You know, she came to that. I remember she came to that. Uh, to the show. To the show, and was like, "Hey, cousin, mm -hmm. you're great." First of all, that's disgusting. As soon as you call me your cousin, I ain't thinking about fucking no more. That's number true, one. True, true. And he wasn't. He yeah. wasn't. At that, that point. Nigga, that nigga, anybody know the beer? He no, been plot no, since. No. Y'all no, wildin'. It, no. Stop it. Y'all wildin'. He was. You're reaching. He didn't. He wasn't talking about smashing until she came up to that, to that loft and he mm -hmm. actually smashed. Is that how niggas work? No, that's what? not, that's not no. how men work. That's how he worked. <laughs> that's how he worked. He saw that from a mile away. He was like, God damn. She was in the nah, house. Nope. She was in the house. If that's the case. Yams out in that's the house. The that's number one. That's number one territory to cut that off mm -hmm. at the beginning. Like, hey, first of all, why are you not saying that Big Mama house? Because we Dude, all got huggers facts. here. Mm -hmm. Big facts. That's, that's wild. That's number one. Second of all, she was in Coochie Cutters at the crib. Yeah. My nigga yeah. said Coochie Cutters. <laughs> Shout out to 90s baby. <laughs> 90s baby. She was in Coochie Cutters, which yeah. is Coochie crazy. Cutters, yeah. nigga. Faith was wild. So... Faith, I mean, and I, I will say this about Terry, and I will. This is why I would agree with you on the fact that Faith. She should have went to one of his shows because mm -hmm. I, I mean, in his group, he had Babyface, mm -hmm. come on, he had Casey and, and JoJo, nice. hey, and, and, and no Babyface brother. Huh? It was, they was nice. They, they was nice. So she would have saw, oh, he got Babyface in there, and he got Casey and JoJo. Casey and JoJo was like the best versions of Casey and JoJo. Yeah. Exactly. It was like they it was cleanest. Clean. They were yeah. the most right. upright. They were their soberest, whatever <laughs> you want to call it, right? <laughs> 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 at least so, it that way. Uh, his thing. Yeah. I agree. She would have been like, I, she would have went to a show and be like, all right. He he, good at this, mm -hmm. and he's the boss of these guys in a sense. He's essentially that. So I'm not arguing that point. Mm -hmm. But the, at the, 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 the band was milestone. But yeah. after him, yeah, after him, uh -huh. exactly. But I will say the reason why I still say she is the protagonist. Why would you after she, all that she's been through with men? Why would you have the co the cousin that is known for wilding out? That's her be, fault. Being over. That's mm -hmm. not his choice. Mm -hmm. That was her choice. That's the family choice because Maxine, first thing she said was like, she ain't staying here. Mm -hmm. So now all the family's being like, nope, nope, nope. And it's leaving it only up to Maxine to, for her to stay with, which is like messed no, up. Big Mama House. Exactly. Why did she stay there? Yeah. Cause, because uh, Terry let her stay at her house, which she shouldn't have. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, nigga, come on, man. You, nah, accountability, nah, nah. bro. Because okay, we know, for one, when he walked out of the house, when, she, when, um, when he was upset with her, he walked out, he walked in the hallway mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Faith was coming through the door. Mm -hmm. She was like, hey, how you doing? Um, 
I keep forgetting his name. How you doing, Miles? He mm-hmm. walked right past her. He wasn't worried about her. Yeah. He was he was very happy with his marriage initially. He could she wouldn't even dance mm-hmm. with the nigga. How how can we she, she, but, she, and I mean we gotta look at the whole oh, the whole movie. When when in that movie, she literally he literally says when they were at the dinner table, she was like, he was like, yo, we've been having problems for a long time. Yeah. So they might have been they might have been perceived that it was good during the movie, but it actually wasn't that whole Once time. Once again, mm-hmm. that's the same thing as whether they were dating for a long time or did uh yeah. Kenny and uh Terry just get is that the first date. But also too, that, you that, don't know that for if, fact. if he says he says in there. He says we no, weren't doing well for a long time. We don't yeah. know why though. We we don't know why. That's yeah. Okay, but also too, even back to faith, bro. You know how, and I know this is probably putting us as men on blast a little bit, mm-hmm. but you know how we work. We know who attractive or not. When cousin Faith came in the house, he didn't go, "Oh, I ain't thinking about smash nose." He think it was like. <sighs> Yeah, he, might, he, now, he might not have been like I'm, I ain't gonna be proactive I think you can be the one, most you can be the most the most uh, uh, faithful husband mm-hmm. and, and do the same thing I think that the conversation after the show softened him up and I think the audition was when right. he first started seeing her with different eyes right I agree I think the audition was he was wrong I'm not yeah, I'll never defend justify that. him I'll yeah, never okay. defend that I'm just saying Terry Terry is not no innocent protagonist, yeah. bro. I just say no, every protagonist ain't innocent. No, no, they have she, issues. I don't even think she's the protagonist. I, you know she's what? She's the reason why she's the reason why Lim got into that fight at the bar. Mm-hmm. Deserve, you know I mean, it sounds like a deserving stuff. No. You can't you came in there. No, you bro. can't she can't he came into her all it was this is Bird's fault at the, at the end of the day. It wasn't mm-hmm. even Lim's fault. She did she did some whack shit. But I don't know why you would go to all people Come on, man. the dude that you were smashing for you. Man. I'm not I'm not putting that on Lim. Yeah. Right. right? And and you you should know your dude. You know your dude is from where he's from. He's he's he is a hood mm-hmm. dude, and he's he's from a certain area. And he probably you know he has a temper. So you know if he ever found out about this shit, it was gonna go up. Mm-hmm. And, and you wore a bracelet, my nigga. And get the, so and, you and so the bracelet on. To me, Bird is one of the biggest villains in this in this mm-hmm. movie because one and Terry mm-hmm. Terry is not. She called the police on it. She called the homies to get him beat up because what is why no why why no why know? why did she call the police? If this, if this is your family, right? She thought that he beat her up. Exactly. And because because Bird was all, family, all, she, all she got was she information. Was, she yeah. Was, she, she didn't get so, no. So keep in she, mind, all she, she 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 did she uh, made a narrative in her, of her own for herself. Yeah. Bird wouldn't come out the bathroom. She was crying and throwing up. Right? Because think about so it. So she wasn't saying nothing. Right. So she, so Terry thought the worst. She must be in there beating. And this is so an I, a, and, and this is an attorney making this decision. <laughs> right. Okay. This is an attorney. This means this is an attorney. Okay. Call calling the rough up hit. First of all, she was on. A call. She was. I guess she was on the phone. Somebody was giving her this information, right? She wasn't. Remember, no, Bird. she called. No, the she police. made the call. She called the people. She picked the phone up. And called her. She made the call. She was inside the Bird. Did the, no. Terry. Terry was in the salon while they was trying to get Bird to come out the room. Remember mm-hmm. the gay dude and the big girl. Mm-hmm. Come on, Bird. Come on. Because she was in the bathroom crying. Terry was in the salon. I thought Terry was at her office. No. And she got the call. No. 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 no, no. From what, well, I, from she, what she, I, I just watched it right before she, I got listen, here. She made the phone call. Homie, she made the phone up and called her cousin to go beat up Lim. Homie from the bar. Called Terry, right? That's uh-huh. what I think. The bartender, no, he he called he called. Thank uh, you, Bird, to come get. He him. called Bird to come get him. C- call Bird, come get your husband. Terry called his cousin. Called the cousin, the ass. thug cousin, to come whoop his ass. So you telling me if the information that you think you're getting is that somebody in your family, right? Like if you can't, like for her on her end, she's not a dude. She ain't gonna go down. If you was a dude, you probably would roll down there and be like, yo, I, gotta, I might have to go handle him for, if I think he might've put hands on my my mm-hmm. sister or whatever the case right. may be. You going down there, ain't no questions asked. You're gonna be like, all right, what's the information? Where's he at? Mm-hmm. We gotta handle this dude, right? On Terry's end, she's she's a woman. She's not gonna go down and beat this guy up. Right. So the information that at least She's being, also an attorney. That's fair. Right. But she's also clearly a writer for her family. True. Right? That's how I look at it. She like, pulled a knife on him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. to me, she's a thug. To me, she's she's, a thug she, she ain't no sucker. So mm-hmm. for she me, not. So she's just, how, she's just wrong with I, 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 I'm looking at, from her lens, the information that's being fed to her is that her sister is in a position where she got hurt. Mm-hmm. She didn't get right. she didn't get. I'm saying information that's fed to her. That's, it, it, yes, it's, it's, it's an assumption. It wasn't fed to her. Mm-hmm. No one told her. She's in the salon. Her sister's crying inside the room and not talking to them. Mm-hmm. She, you, if you watch the video, the movie, she's crying. They're like, Bird, come, this mm-hmm. talk, come outside. Come out, come out. She's just crying. No, I don't, uh, I, from what I remember, she, I see, I remember her making the call from the office. She no, was literally was, in her, no. in, in this guy right that's, the the salon. that's when she made the call from the office. It she was to get Lim out. out of jail. To get him out of jail. She was in the office, in her office, calling to get a favor to get him out to of jail. To get him a favor to get him out of so jail. So if that, that means she would have saw Lim in there the first time. What you mean? When he came in there and bust up the whole shit. No, that came afterwards. Mm-hmm. He already left. Bro, if you think your sibling got hands put on him, what are you going to do? 
Here's the thing. I get if it. If you think you so I don't I don't necessarily I, if, if, I don't necessarily my, I don't necessarily not Terry. What I'm gonna do for is make, find out this is my new brother in law, right? Mm -hmm. Hey man, my girl, my sister's in the room crying and she's not saying shit. She's not mm -hmm. letting this in, she's not coming out. I don't know what happened. Help me understand what happened, bro. But here's the thing. Before I, I beat your ass. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. That's, but I, but also but yeah, but also too, you thinking that way. From her end, she's she going, went straight to mm -hmm. uh, go whoop his ass. As, opposed to go as, find as, out a, what as a woman, I can understand that she's not gonna ask him questions. Why because, not? Because one, the fear of if this dude is who he is, who he, she thinks he is, if he's like, let's say, have the cousin go talk to him, not whoop his ass. Hey, hey, Kenny was on his way to help. Yeah, Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Go, have, like, go you know, have your brother in law to Kenny, go talk to your other brother in law. Kenny go find and Max. Out what I, I, she went straight to the mm -hmm. go whoop his ass. Yeah. Here's the thing that was her move. And like, from a standpoint, too, she said no gun. Sounds mm -hmm. like she didn't want to really hurt for real. Go whoop his ass. Mm -hmm. They don't kill him, but go whoop his ass. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that sounds fine to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that ultimately got, happened, li got Lim thrown back in the jail. What happened? Now, and now your, now your sister's like, why did you call the, why'd you call the, 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 the brother, the, my, our cousins to go do this? Mm -hmm. Here's, I, 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 I see, I see what y'all are saying. But I, I, I can also see where, where Terry's coming from. If she is panicking about her sister, this is her baby sister. Mm -hmm. She's the oldest. She is known as what? If you're the oldest, what are you? You're the protector yeah. of the family. Mm -hmm. There's no questions that if she's seeing my sister's crying, it mm -hmm. seems like this dude hurt my sister because she's not coming out of here. All I hear is her in pain in there. I don't, I don't, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. Yo, who's gonna do? I need you I need to handle this dude. Don't kill I this dude. Don't, kill, don't kill this dude. I understand so it's, the under, logic so it's understandable when she's she's protecting her family. I don't but, see what's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Because if she was wrong. Mm -hmm. She didn't know she was wrong at the time, but the fact is she was wrong. Yeah. You know who was because, wrong? Because Terry's Bird. Ter of course. Yeah, Bird was absolutely wrong. It's Bird's fault. I blame it's it's Terry. the sister's fault. But the problem with Terry is Terry automatically assumes she's the smartest person in the room. All the time. Throughout the entire movie. Let me ask you this. Who's smarter than her? Well, I mean Maxine? Yeah, hey. because 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 we're talking intellect. Then, I mean, on, like, like on, think on. about wait, it like this. Okay. Terry makes a lot of poor decisions, right? Uh, okay. Wait, so for at? one. I mean, Terry is always throwing up that she paid for everything. That's stupid as hell. That doesn't build family camaraderie. Okay. Right? Like, you know, an, an emotionally intelligent person doesn't make that call. Great point. Got you. Terry has obviously low self-esteem or the need to, like, to be acknowledged. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Because every law opportunity mm -hmm. that she has to talk, she throws out her kudos. Mm -hmm. She can't help herself. Right? When Lim talks about how he just got out of jail, it's a moment where you can see do I say something or not? Acknowledge me. So Terry needs to be acknowledged Fair. by her family throughout the film. That's her family flaw. Got it. And 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 that one of them. And that to me like, her, drives her behaviors in her in her marriage. Mm -hmm. He's wrong. I, but even before he did the cheating, why would you treat your husband like that? Mm -hmm. Let me dance with you, baby. Mm -hmm. a, she don't want to dance, and she made up a reason to make. She started the fight with the nigga. Yeah. Also. Are we not going to acknowledge that she's also going through something? She is the oldest. She probably feels like she's the closest to her mother. Her mother's dying, right? Her mm -hmm. mother's dying because she, what is she, what is she saying in the movie? Ain't nobody cutting off my leg. Mm -hmm. That's what she said mm -hmm. during the movie. She yeah. wanted to have Ain't nobody cutting off my leg. leg. Ain't nobody, <laughs> right? So as, like I said before, as the oldest and protector, she probably feels like she's the closest to mama, right? And she's going through a lot. So that means you're going to dance with your husband? If you, if you were, if you're having an emotional, I would say for the husband, mm -hmm. I get, I get him from a standpoint, but I would also be like, yo, you're going through a lot. Either let's talk about this. Cause like if if you're if you're if your lady's mother is dying, mm -hmm. like you gotta have more patience than be like, oh, like you didn't want to dance with me? Right. Nigga, my mom is that's dying. Not, that's not why he walked off. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. What I'm, what I'm, he, he, he wasn't tripping about that. Mm -hmm. not, not dancing. Okay, you don't want to dance. And think about cool. it like this. Big mama said, Maxine, you the strongest one. Like, like, Come on, like even, even, even Big Mama was like, Keep it a hundred. you the heir to the matriarchy. That was Big Mama's position. She had her whole, she had, she had her life together. She didn't have as much money as mm -hmm. as um as uh, Terry, mm -hmm. but she her nucleus was comfortable. Yeah. Her, there was love there. Her, and she think had about it like this: that loved her. Think about it like this: Max was never taking shots at Terry. Max was always playing defense. Right. Terry was always the one. Saying some shit. She even said slick it. shit. She was jealous. Birdie was like, she was. She's jealous of you because you got everything that she wants. Exactly. 
You know what I'm saying? And she got everything she wants. Is that your because, queen? Because, because <laughs> Kenny, Kenny chose the better woman. He was like, this chick is, oh, she's smarter. Yeah. She's going to school and this and that. But this chick is the one I really, I, I, could, I, could, I, could set, I can set up home with. Mm -hmm. A woman that's going to have my back. A woman that's going to, I can be an electrician or, or a mechanic and she's going to love me. Mm -hmm. And she's going to give kid, give me kids. And she's going to go on walks with my son mm -hmm. and, be, and be his biggest cheerleader at his basketball games. That's the kind of woman I want. This woman won't even, her husband want to mm -hmm. do music. He's already successful. He got bread. It's not mm -hmm. like they're struggling. And she won't even support him in that. Why? It's about control. That's why Kenny dodged a bullet, bro. <laughs> yeah. When Matt, he got a Maxine. He was like, bro. And honestly speaking, they were a lot younger than we making them seem to be. Mm -hmm. This is back they had the skating ring, bro. But they kept mm -hmm. the same characters. They, 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 yeah. they, they probably didn't have the budget to do like mm -hmm. a 17-year-old, 16-year-old Kenny mm -hmm. right. Maxine or uh, 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 let's say 18-year-old, 17-year-old Terry mm -hmm. and a 16-year-old Maxine mm -hmm. and an 18-year-old Kenny. Right. They 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 threw a, uh, they threw a, a Jerry curl, a Jerry in curl wig on them some bell <laughs> and bottoms called, and called him a teenager. Yeah. yeah, they're at the skating ring. You know what I'm saying? That's so the these man. are they're making young decisions. Mm -hmm. Now they're, they're not 25. You know what I'm saying? We don't, know how old they were, but right. we don't. But based off the skating ring though, <laughs> and how she was dressed, mm -hmm. yeah. how Maxine was dressed, they were teenagers. And again, they do a lot of parallels. She was walking down the street. Yeah, he had a car. She had a, her book bag in her chest. Like mm -hmm. she was a kid. She was a student. Oh, when you, oh, when she found out when they were when they were smashing they were, the car, yeah, they were kissing. Was, they weren't even smashing. Yeah. They was kissing. They but were the, naked. But there are a lot but of back parallels. in the eighties. That's that's, 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 that's that's all they was doing. We yeah. sure about that? Well, because she did when she when she pulled out the car, she didn't pull her yeah. clothes wrong. Yeah. Pennies weren't on the Come ground. Come on, that's Ken. that's that's. Hey, yeah. what's your investment in this? You know these motherfuckers personally. But think about it like this. I mean, after go ahead. Think about it like this. Um, when Maxine's husband asked for a dance in the living room, Maxine danced. Thank you. And she going through the when same stuff. Thank when you Terry's so husband going the asked stuff. for a dance in the she living room, denied. she got denied. She's also going through more stress. When she's, no, if, she's not going through more. If she's covering, if you're covering all the bills, if you're, let me just be real. If you're, if you're covering all the bills for the probably the majority of your family, mm -hmm. right? Everybody comes to you for all the financial stuff like that. Yeah. Then you're dealing with Big Mama. You're ha You're dealing with at home issues. But you Terry never, Terry never communicated to the family that these financial burdens were indeed burdens. They weren't burdens. They weren't they burdens. They were like, you ain't hurting for that money. You ain't hurting for this money. She was never was like, hurting. You ain't hurting for it. You keep the burden. Why, why loan your little, your baby sister some money mm -hmm. to start her business and then hawk her about paying you back? Yeah. And I'm not saying that she should. Here's the thing. I should, I never will say you can't, you should be able to ask her for your money mm -hmm. back. Nothing wrong with that at yeah. all. But hawk on her, you see her working. Yeah, you see it working. You know, it's not like she lit, sitting on the rash. It didn't I mean, seem like she, that money was much at all. It, it was what she said in but there. She, she was but like she held in, it over them. But she said in there in the movie, she said, "Bird, if you spent more time at the salon doing more work, you could pay me my money back." So it's, it's, it's for her eyes. She doesn't mm -hmm. seem like she's working as much as she probably should be working. But all we all we saw was her working. Mm -hmm. I'm just go, I'm going off with that. Yeah. If, if she's saying that, that means something. No. Even, even though even she, though, could, she could be saying that and not even know what the hell you talking about. I work 13 hour days. Right. I got to work 16 hour days. That wasn't her response. What'd she say? She was just like, she said nothing. She just kind of, she kind of took it like, ah, because, yeah. and she's the baby sister. She, don't, she probably don't want to talk back to her older sister. And really, really, uh, Bird was never really like feisty when it came to her older sister. She kind of played the little sister role. Yeah. She literally started up the, the the argument at the at the table at the end. What she mean? When, remember at the end when he goes, when he's like, I'm the one that got you out of jail. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, yo, you need to worry about your own family because like, your man over here fucking somebody else. Right, but again. That, that, Terry that, started that. Counterpunching. How like Terry, like so every, she, it's, it's all response to Terry. It's everybody responding, she responding to, Terry. to Terry. Always jumping on her about mm -hmm. something. If she, look, let me say something. Uh -huh. If she got her her husband out of jail, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Well, you know, I I, I made she the call." Put her husband in jail. I mean, kind think, of. Think about Bird. Bird is like <laughs> you got to understand that 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 Birdie is like. Listen, they cracked him she, over the head. They jumped on him for no reason. And what she and what Bird recognizes is is that right now. Like people doing shit for my husband, mm. or or telling my husband that they did shit that they did a certain thing for him yeah. is not good for my husband, right? Right. So when so when Terry says okay, that, she gets defensive. Like yo, like this man is in a vulnerable state. We're good for people getting involved in his life. Yeah, I just did it trying to get him the job. Mm. You, and you did it. Up. You know what I'm saying? Like we we are taking his dignity away mm. because everybody is telling him what they did for him. Okay. And bro, as a as as a black man, bro, 
you look at Lim and he's trying, he got a suit on, bro. Yeah. yeah. A suit and tie and trying to get a job, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you I, say, I, I, oh, he didn't get enough. And job interview, he had six mm -hmm. in a week. You know what I'm saying? That's more. I don't remember it being in one week, but mm -hmm. but I also say too, even back to the point of Terry calling somebody, calling those uh, her family her on cousin. him, right? Mm -hmm. If it depends how you also view, like I guess, abuse and domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. If somebody grabs and slams your sister, how are you taking that? <clears throat> I'm either probably, either I, one of y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm jump. I'm beating his ass. I'm doing the same thing to him that he did to my wife, my girl, right. my sister. Okay, so. In this case, that's what happened. He grabbed her, slammed her against the wall, even though, you know, some people might say rightfully so. I, I can understand maybe even the anger that he went through from all that because you, you you literally embarrassed this dude and you had a homeboy come mm -hmm. up to him and pretty much run, like, I guess run rank on him. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have Coca-Cola back in the day. You know, that's what I used to call it. Yeah, yeah and that, all, all that energy honestly should have went towards him for sure. I mean, it did. It did. But it did to a they point. They pulled him off. I wish he would have did a little bit more damage because that boy wasn't hurt, wasn't bleeding, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah. It, it, it's all good. But, I will say, if I found out that somebody even grabbed my sister, threw her against the wall, just that right there, family being called at that point to 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 to, to soften you up a little bit, mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to that. Let me and, ask you this. And, and this I'm not opposed let to me that. Ask you this. You're you're the limb. You slam your woman up against the wall because it's wrong. Mm -hmm. He even said it was wrong to the boy. Yep. It was wrong. You know what I'm saying I even, made a mistake. Even pushing her against the wall was wrong. It was bad enough. Yeah, I just never, I never hit her. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's not, that's not what we do here. Yeah, I, mean, I would never hit a woman. Mm -hmm. He's purposely trying to. Uh, this is not normal. It's right. not okay, young mm -hmm. man. You little boy. So he, he even, he, he knew what he did was wrong, and you saw him going through the emotions yeah. like. Like he, uh, him, him pushing. Agreed. Me, I felt this. Like, I felt that. Not saying I, I've never hit a woman like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hit a girl when I was a little kid. The last mm -hmm. time I did it in elementary school, right? At forty second and all that. But I never hit a woman because that's just not what I, I'll never let myself get to that point. But I, right. I've also never experienced what he felt. And she had the damn necklace. She had a, a the bracelet. bracelet. Yeah, everything took him over the edge. Go ahead. He we, raged. We. I think it's an interesting curiosity about about Terry that. She would have called the cousins to fuck Lim up, but the cousins were never invited to Sunday dinner. Boom. You know what I mean? Like, you Boom. know, and so Wait. to me, that shows a character thing, right? Like, you right. know, you don't want to break bread with these people. They're below you. You don't yes. want them at, at Sunday. And guess what? But you'll, but you'll weaponize them to your and end. guess what? Cousin went to jail, too. Yep. She we put two niggas in jail. Yep. <laughs> She's not a fucking protagonist, bro. I mean, Come sounds, on, man. Sounds, sounds like a lawyer. But anyways. Uh, yeah. She's not a but, protagonist, But I will nigga. say, I will say to your point, if I, I think you asked me if I was Lim, right? Mm -hmm. I know if I was Lim, and especially if I know if I ever put my hands on any woman that I would. Like my sister. My, my, mm -hmm. Yeah. My, my wife has a brother, right? Right. Mm -hmm. If I even grab my girl, I'm like, what is your problem? Yep. Right? Even if my girl stays at the house that night, blah, 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 blah. My head is just like, I'm, I, I'm. I would probably be like, I gotta go run to pay with these niggas myself mm -hmm. because I know yeah. it's coming. I'd rather go. See, I'd rather. Go, brother, I'd rather. I'd rather go to it. My uncle Larry mm -hmm. and told him, bro, I, I need that yeah. fade, man. I need it, and it's yeah. just like even if it's You're like, what for? For what? Mm -hmm. me, me and your sister got into it, bro. I did some things that you ain't gonna. You that you ain't gonna like. Come, 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 let's, let's, talk. let's come. So even if I know, I know from, a, and that's just my mindset right now. I can't say I'm, I'm not. I'm not limp. I'm just going up high. I feel like I would have been like, damn, I messed up. Mm -hmm. I did this. Yo, I gotta. I, I, I'll be like, let me say, I just what happened between Bird and myself. Mm -hmm. Yo, I understand if y'all want it, let's get it. And if even if y'all get me, I got it. Like, I, I'll be that like thing, that's, a, he, that's a fair. He L. didn't know about these cousins. Yeah, he didn't know that it was a fade against a brother or mm -hmm. someone coming back. It was like these random niggas talking about he got my tab. He's not even on. He's not even. He's chilling by himself. Matter, matter of fact, not worried about nobody. Matter of fact, he's decompressing. Yeah. Right, like you know, like like he went to the bar. Cause the man was furious, and he said he just drinking. He just he drinking, said, bro. And this nigga, who's gonna pay for all this, man? Mm -hmm. This nigga is. He said, "Yeah, right." He's yeah. wild for that. That was that was. And they bust him over the head with a bottle. Yeah, I'm just. He was lucky he didn't shoot this nigga. Mm -hmm. You could have got your cousin killed. Cause he might bust me with a bottle and stab yep. me with the bottle. I don't yep. know. And these three niggas, yep. they kicking me. He showed restraint by not busting on. Yeah, nigga, what's up now, nigga? Mm -hmm. But I, but I will say that's what a lot of people do in the heat of emotion and anger, right? When if your family, if you hear like you said, if it's your sister and you another woman, that's mm -hmm. you're immediately going, yo, handle this. I don't care. Just go handle business. Mm -hmm. right. You're not you're not sitting there thinking about like yo. 
full, you're not fully thinking it all the way through, lawyer or not. Yeah. And you got to also think but about no, I mean, who like, you send it and what you're doing to the people you're sending to. Yeah. He could have, uh, his cousin, her cousin went to jail or his cousin could have got shot, killed. Oh, mm-hmm. you know, we talking about, I know we talking about this one particular topic. <laughs> she ain't no damn protagonist, nigga. Yeah. Hey, you know man. <laughs> but she, she, she went through a lot and still kept it together and kept the family together. She pulled a knife. Right. In the middle of a party. That's not keeping it together. Here's the thing. That's not keeping it together. No. 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 Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. She pulled a knife this. out. That Let is not rational you behavior. Think, you think any woman in your family, in your in your life, if she gets cheated on, she should kill the nigga? She didn't kill him. We she should? Mm-hmm. She no, should kill him. Or, or she, she should a knife try out. She's, I mean, she waved she's scared, him. She's scared him. Yeah. She's scaring him. Nah, oh, she's scared him. come on, nah. he's scaring him, bro. Come uh-uh. on, man. Come on, man. If anybody that pulls a knife out at a if, family listen, function your sister, is an irrational family member. Your sister pull a knife on somebody, and the nigga that she pull a knife on fire, fire on her, knock her, knock her out. Mm-hmm. What's your thought process? What happened? Well, she, well, we all we saw such and such pull get up, and she chased the nigga with a knife, and she was waving at him, and he hit her. Mm-hmm. Is this nigga a woman beater or is, is it really? Was he's, it? Defend, he's already defending himself. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not sitting there saying, for, for one, I get it. She wanted to kill this nigga. She was upset with the nigga, as he should have been. You know what I'm saying? He's foul for that. Mm. He's super foul. He's whack She should have pulled a knife on the cousin. Huh? She should have put a knife on the she cousin. She should have mopped the cousin. Don't even, you, don't even, you pull a knife on the nigga. Mm-hmm. But she should have whooped the faith ass. Man. Drug her. Uh, we got to this point super quick. <laughs> like, right. You know. Yeah. Um, Protagonist. We didn't even get to talk about, damn. Mm-hmm. We didn't even get to talk about uh, Nana getting sick. Yeah, and the all food. That, you know what I'm saying? But we got to get to the awards. We do. We got to get to the awards. Okay. Um, yeah. Most valuable player. Most valuable player clearly was uh, Amat. Oh. The Amat, little boy. Yeah, little dude. It would have been Big Mama, but mm-hmm. she gave the rings to Little Mama to to uh, to uh, Amat. I think Amat is a good choice. Uh-huh. Like I think Amat is a great choice. Um, if I had to go. If I had to choose a runner up, it would be Maxine. Well, yeah, I like that. The mama of the main character, you know what I'm saying? The new matriarch. Yeah. Right. The true protagonist. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's easy, man. You give, you give, you take you take money away from Terry, then she's terrible. She's trash, bro. Look, man, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to give it to Ahmad because he almost burned down the house after he was told not to do what he was supposed to do, man. Just kidding. Hey, Keenan, I didn't know this side of you, bro. This nigga said, this nigga went to jail. Horrible nigga. <laughs> Damn, Fuck what did he go to jail for, nigga? No, and that, he and only went on six interviews. From, <laughs> terrible. He's trying. From, from a joking standpoint, uh-huh. I was going for that, right? I, had, I even had, that's why I was like, what are you looking at? You can't get it. I had notes in my phone. That's what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga shows up at the skating <laughs> ring. Yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah, I, I had I came in here with a point, and that was Terry the protagonist. So yeah. I had it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and like I said, I don't knock Lim for like, mm-hmm. especially if you. I understand. I have family trying members to, that make mistakes. Trying to do better, bro. Yeah, yeah. I understand family members that make mistakes. Like I said, even for him, he's not the worst out of all. I think. I, I think to me, I wouldn't even say Terry's the worst. I would say Bird. Bird did probably some of the worst shit in this whole movie. Yeah. Nigga, she did violation yeah. after violation. Oh, after violation. your husband on the dance, and to say you don't want him to do be a, be a singer or mm-hmm. artist. Keep stay with your will stay with your law, practicing your law. That's one thing. I, I, she's wrong for that. But going behind your back, Bird essentially cheated, mm-hmm. in my personal opinion. She oh, essentially sure. cheated. You know what I'm saying? She, sure. she was wearing the bracelet. She and, agreed and, to go to dinner to with the, the dinner. nigga. To get you a job, nigga, you you tell me. I don't. I don't I'm not against Lim, Lim's anger in any of this. To for be sure. honest, with you. no. Um, MVP Terry. So I'm gonna go MVP in. Terry. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, she nigga. Paid for everything. <laughs> hey man, nah. she is a big reason, and I don't. I won't fight you on who. Did somebody say Maxine? Yes. Yeah, I thought Max could could have been. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not against mod. that one either. Being yeah. MVP. Mm-hmm. So. All right. What about LVP, the least valuable player <laughs> in this film? I already know. I already know. Least value. There's affair. so many. Can I go? Go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, please. it's Bird. Are we not gonna say Bird? Ooh. Yeah. After what we just talked about, she's 100 percent the least valuable player. Not Faith. Faith is Ooh. who she was. Mm-hmm. Right. We. This is kind of her past. She's what been. Did, she's been a fucker. Yeah. Okay. Bird. Bird. Mm-hmm. Because Bird didn't do. She couldn't cook. So she's terrible. At the, she ain't gonna keep Lim. He's out of there. He. Mm-hmm. She. Can't, she can't cook. Right. I mean, I guess the Ussie a little, it's kind of good, but let me tell you something. At the, she end, of, really, at the end of the movie, did you see what Lim did? At the end of the movie, when he saw Faith, she's like, come on. He went, I'm telling you. But I nah. put that on. Yes, he did. He, he, he looked. Did he did, he did look. that. He but, he know, but he's not going, he not going nowhere. He did look. He's not going nowhere. Not with Faith. Faith fucked the husband. Yeah. He don't Faith even know trash. that yet. He don't know that yet. 
I mean, he just got a gym. He just saw that she was attractive, man. That's normal yeah. for he niggas, looking. man. You know how niggas be. You don't look you in be the faithful as hell. You don't like, look in the house, yeah. bro. For the for the sake of the film, for the sake of the film, it's true. And, and, and here's the thing. Even when he was dancing with the girl, freaking with her, mm -hmm. she wasn't necessarily. She was like, "Who the fuck invited his ex?" Mm -hmm. Not like I'm a, I'm a. It wasn't like, "Oh, you nigga, I need to watch you." It's more like, oh, "I'm gonna slap this chick up." Like, her mind wasn't even on him; it was yeah. on the girl. Yeah. Even the family was like, "Let's go beat this bitch up." Mm -hmm. And another reason why Maxine should be the uh, uh, MVP if it's not gonna be a mod. She was pregnant, ready like nigga. Let's ready to rumble. Like, I will. She ready to rumble. I have rumble. zero arguments with your MVP for Max. Uh -huh. yeah. right, that's fair. But y'all all agree with LVP. Bird LVP. Or not? My LVP. My LVP is Reverend Williams. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What? This perverted. This, dude? this first of all perverted perverted pastor. We never saw him in church. Yeah, never never saw True. him in church. Just saw him afterwards. And with all of this family turmoil, not once did this motherfucker offer the counsel. He wasn't a person to go listen to. Or nothing. He was wow. pointless. He was wow. pointless. He was there to eat, and he was there to make inappropriate comments. And, so he, and he, he, kissed, oh, he kissed Max in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. It's all the, of them at some point in time. He's the yeah. worst. Uh, but one person he's I got to say, when there's more of the LVP than him. Yeah. Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete was my runner up. I'm sorry. <laughs> How? Man. He wasn't shit. He didn't, he didn't yeah. do nothing. He, he was a grown ass man mm -hmm. that was getting taken care of for the rest of his life for however yeah. long. He clearly had dementia. That's yeah. the more reason why I'm saying right. he was. He, so he, why he, would he be the LVP? He don't know what's not going valuable. on. Not, he could have not been in that room and the movie would have been exactly the same. Right. He dropped the TV with all he the dropped money. The, TV. Oh. the money was that's insignificant. Say, that's say, well, they were, here's the thing. No, no, no. They would have found that. They would have found that money a lot mm -hmm. earlier had they been going in that room. They right. haven't been going in that room because he was in there. Had he had has he has he yeah. put it in another TV room or in that same mm -hmm. room they, in that TV? We don't know that for sure because it, the money was in the TV. They might have thrown that TV out completely. Right. But even still, the money didn't even need to be discovered for the for the movie to work. The money was the lure that a mob was using to get everybody there. Which is, it was unrealistic. Right. If I just steal my wife, I'm not yeah. coming to the house because my little nephew told me to come for some money. Some money, oh, some money yeah. over That's there, right? That's another reason why my, my MVP, he lied to everybody. But, if, but, but everybody <laughs> gets <lie>. there and, <laughs> and they have the moment of discovery, yeah. you know what I mean? And then they put out the fire and all is well. Like, at that point, if you cut Uncle Pete running out of the, uh, the, the room with the TV, you could just, like, roll the credits. He was he was unnecessary. He was unnecessary to help Maxine can, see herself as the matriarch. Thanks. It was un, he was an unnecessary character. Right. And you could have put that money in the wall when they were bringing the, uh, the mm -hmm. wall was burning up. They could have put the they could have put the uh they could have put the fire out right before they yeah. burnt the money. What was that in the wall? You know who the, the first money. person to grab a mm -hmm. fire fire extinguisher? True. Well, um, Terry. This <laughs> nigga's retarded. Sounds like the protagonist. To me. Uh, Sounds like no, the savior. No. To the save Big Mama's house that she was paying for. She's the reason why they were even arguing in the first place. At the end of the movie. Yeah, wow. At the end of the movie, there's <laughs> there's a scene. Everybody's on the porch. Uncle Peter's on the porch holding the baby. Yes. I remember thinking, like, get that fucking baby. <laughs> I said, He's crazy. The same thing. He might bite the baby or accident. <laughs> Big Mama's a the chocolate bar. What's Uncle Pete doing holding the baby? I yeah. said, the exact yeah. same. I said, who gave him yeah. the baby? Get the him back up in that room. And he on the stage. He dropped the baby. Baby found the Stairs. No, get him nigga. back in that room ASAP. Who <laughs> <Get him. laughs> let him out? Don't let Uncle <laughs> Pete. <laughs> hey, nigga, and, uh, Uncle Pete. Nigga, he he got to be musty when he yeah. came out the house Uncle the first Pete, time. Yeah, he might have come a bathroom on. in his room. We don't yeah, know. but he don't even know that his sister is not his daughter. His niece. Yeah. He, he done. He probably he don't know that type of nigga. Don't know. Let me go wash my ass. Hey man, I just, like at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Bird is the worst. Bird could have let the cousin stay there, but you know why? She mm -hmm. didn't want. She knew her husband wouldn't be able to handle see, having uh -huh. another woman in the house. Yeah, so, that's why. And the same way, but that's but here's the thing. And Terry was like, I trust my husband because mm -hmm. he's solid enough. Yeah. And it's not pushing. She said she away. didn't want. She didn't. She said she didn't want to have her there. Remember that? Mm -hmm. She said, I didn't want all, you here. Figure it out. <laughs> you grew up here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, Faith, go with one of your homies' house. Get the fuck out of here. So, True. let me uh, ask a couple of more questions before we get to the to the fist right. at the end. Uh, Samuel, uh, where does he rank on like the, the, the slimy? The Who's worse, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel mm -hmm. from Soul Food, mm -hmm. or uh, what's the nigga Russell from uh from um Waiting to Exhale? Waiting to Exhale. Or did that shit a while ago. or what's the name's uh man, uh Nina's man in, in Love Jones? Oh, you talking about uh, Bill Bellamy character? Are you talking about uh uh No, like the not man, the, the, my toasted my, my my toasted oats. I'm going to get my well, fucking see, toasted oats. Bad, though. Well, I, mean, I would like, say Bill Bellamy's worse than him in that movie. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, for right. sure. Yeah. So, but, but in terms of slime ball, 
I don't, think, I don't think the, 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 the niggas he went to New York to before was You don't think he was a slime ball? Yeah, you just I thought he was an asshole. Yeah, 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 you just yeah, thought he yeah. was an asshole. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, but in terms of, of slime balls, like, you know, sleazy. What was his name? Uh, uh, Simuel. Hollywood, what was his name? Uh, Bill Bellamy's name, name in that? Wood. 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 Well, yeah. Wood, yeah. Well, he was a slime he ball. He was a yeah. slime, slime ball. ball. Played Wood, great too, yeah. Russell, or Simuel. Simuel was a Simuel was a was the worst. Though. He's the worst. He is the worst. Yeah. He's you the worst. You know when Bird's in a, a, a tricky spot, you know this dude, yo, he can't even get you Chanel bags mm-hmm. and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. The way he's looking at you, I know, I know, I know, you, I know your husband. I know you can't like get you nice shit like things. That. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like his mouth. I didn't like the way his goatee was like yo, lined up. Hey, I didn't like it. And, and they kept doing him. close up yeah, shots yeah, with his yeah. mouth. Look at this nigga's lips, man. Get this nigga's lips out the damn camera, man. Right. Oh, you know, oh, Bird didn't tell you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, 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 Kenny, I, think, I got you the job, I think, man. Cola, who the fuck is Cola? Oh, yeah. This is somebody used to call yeah, back in the day. I think yeah, we, that. we needed, I think that was an excellent decision he by was the great. director. We had to see his mouth. We had to, because yeah. we wanted him to punch in it. Hey, yeah. I promise you, they probably punched him after the fact. They probably yeah. said, nigga, the way he's saying this, these Yeah, lines, just feel like this, we this need to hate him. punch in this nigga's mouth, nigga. We need to hate him. Yeah, I don't think anybody was watching that particular scene was just like, he don't deserve this. Yeah. And I just wish he would have got it more because he hit yeah. him with the tray. And was just like, I wish he got he knocked out. Yeah, I yeah. wish he would have knocked him out yeah. for sure, one hundred percent. I'm gonna go straight to. I'm not gonna do the the 2022 recast unless you guys have something. You know, I always draw a blank with these. Yeah. Man. Well, gotta, the recast the whole cast and it's tough because it's not the whole. We we, we don't have because we just get cast. to calling out the right the same right. people like you know over, over over and over. So I'll go straight to the fist. I'll All go right. I'll go to the fist. All right. Uh, on a scale of five black fists to one black fist, five black fists being this is a all time classic. One being like okay, all time blackbuster. I'm glad it happened. Mm-hmm. And the one is like, eh, it's cool. How do you rank Soul Food? Oh man, after after rewatching it again this time, there's a lot of just. This this one this movie should have been called either dysfunctional family, <laughs> or hypertension, or or just like you know. I think it's pro- I think it's perfect. Soul food mm-hmm. isn't good for you. Yeah, yeah. So it's good I mean, for your soul, so, not for your heart. It's it's great, you yeah. know what I'm saying. <laughs> and so I and Lies. watching this in the order that I've gotten, I understand a lot more things. When I was a kid, I didn't mm-hmm. understand. I, I was I was with, through the whole allure of how beautiful these women were, Facts. and you know I wanted to be a mod because I wanted to be that character because I was around the same age. Uh-huh. Um, I would give this three and a half four. Damn. Fist, uh, fist. You said out of, you said out of, out of five, five, out of five. Out of five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would give it about three and a half, four, just because. Um, even rewatching, I still, I still, still think the storytelling was pretty clean across yeah. the board. You gave us a lot of stuff with every character, and that's why they had a show. Mm-hmm. The show right. was dope too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love the show. The show and the casting dope. of the show was perfect casting mm-hmm. after this cast. Right. So right. I give it three and a half, four. I give it a five. Mm-hmm. I almost couldn't get through it. It, t- it pulled on my heartstrings several times. Mm-hmm. Big Mama, Mama Joe reminds me of my mom, mm. and my mom is dope as hell. I had to call mm-hmm. my mom last night to say I love her. I'm gonna call her again tonight. Say good night. Uh, I loved it because I thought it was relatable. Yeah, I thought even Terry's character, horrible ass character, she mm-hmm. was also amazing. <laughs> yeah. I also fell for her because she was the bird. She was the financial uh, backbone of the family. And a lot of our and, black families have this kind of dynamics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. It, it makes it, it can make you. Be, behave a certain type of way when you know that everyone is relying on you. Even when Maxine was like, how about that? How about mm-hmm. Ma- uh, Terry and Terry and Miles pay for everything and we, we find a way to pay them back? No, no, no. no. You're not going to put that shit on me again. That's wild. Yeah, I mm-hmm. get that. But that happens. And and, 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 and it's not, I don't think that Maxine is like, well, you, we don't have it. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You do. And we need this to get done. I get it. It's not, and I don't think it's selfish. I just, I just think it's not necessarily the most healthiest of of behavior when it when it comes to one person paying for everything. Poor communication I, yeah. throughout this whole movie. Big, throughout this whole agree. movie. But that's but that's a family. It is. That's and that's why I, I, I give it a five because I I, I yeah. don't think anything was uh, was uh I think Terry did what she was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna get this nigga lifted. I'm gonna get this nigga limp beat mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Fuck that. I I'm I'm cool with that. But I'm where I'm from. That's that's gonna happen. I'm the cousin you call. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I, I was. Not, yeah. yeah. Back <laughs> in the day. Change man. I'm grown, I'm grown yeah. as hell. I'm, I'm grown as hell. But like, um. So I get it. Of course, for for a conversation, that wasn't the right thing to do because she was wrong. At the end of the day, yeah. she should let she should she should have handled it a different way. Mm. But a lot of time, when your your baby sister is on the floor crying and won't mm-hmm. open the door, no, something gotta happen. I gotta he take- gotta be crying too. Yeah. yeah, I get that. I respect it. Um, and every, I think everybody in their worst ways, even even Miles, he what he did was wrong. Um, I I still feel for him too. He he yeah. made a he made a poor judgment, and that scene was strong after he smashed. Mm-hmm. 
they both felt like shit. Instant yeah. regret. I said, yeah. damn. Yeah. Like, so good people do horrible things sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Vulnerable moments. And to his there. defense, he walked away from that woman. Yes. He called her bullshit. Yeah. And he, walked away. He called her bullshit. He went upstairs to and work he, on his music. And you can tell by the when she walked in the door, he didn't expect her to come up there. Yeah. He was like, Did he? She made Come that on, de- Keenan. She made said, that he decision. Said, he said, Hey, I'll be in the studio. She knew exactly where he was going. If that's me, mm-hmm. I'd be like, all right, then blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah. And I'm just leaving. I'm not telling you where I'm going. You would have you would have had to find me mm-hmm. in the studio. That nigga wanted that ussy, man. He, he wanted, wanted it. it. He wants some of that he, faith. He wanted that, yeah. Gotta mm-hmm. have faith. And he had and it. Faith, man. Faith. <laughs> she did have the coochie cutters though. But yeah. So uh, for me, um, not because this movie is good enough for this ranking. But I think it's because it's important enough for this ranking. Uh-huh. I'm giving Soul Food five fists, Boom. right? I think it's an important movie. To me, there's nothing like it. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's nothing like it. Yeah. And I think it is a honest reflection of the complexity of the black family. Mm-hmm. Right. From the food to the bitterness to the forgiveness to the matriarch. So for for what it means culturally... Right. I'm, I'm, it's not, I agree. It's not I agree. as good as some other films that I might give a, a, a black fist to. Yeah. But for me, its cultural significance right. is what pulls it into the five fist category. Quotables. Quotables for sure. Quotables. Say, strong ass yeah. scenes. Good um, acting. Big mama, your arm. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Hand me some butter, please. <laughs> nah, yeah, hey, mama, mama, you about to burn up. You're not about to put no margarine on your shit. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter <laughs> lotion. <laughs> Come on, big mama. I thought it was uh I thought it was dope, but I thought it was done well. Like you said, there's nothing like it. Mm-hmm. Um they made a whole show off of it. And as they should. I forgot how many um, seasons, but it was, I watched the majority of it. It was good. Yeah. 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 Um, super dope, man. I wish we could talk about it more because there's still some more things I want to talk about. Unpack. I, I love Lim's character. I, I thought it was, I think it was as good as you can get when it comes to making a film. I yeah. thought, I thought the street nigga was good. The street nigga turned good. Was yeah. I think he played a good guy. Lim's I believe character them. was very believable. Believable. He very seemed believable. like a, you know, sometimes people miscast that. Yeah. They make a, they make the, are oh, you playing the gangster nigga because you bald headed and dirt skin? Mm-hmm. This, this, and this nigga, he, he, I don't believe it's gangster. No. This was some of the best casting I've seen. Like when I rewatched it, like everybody was perfect for the role. Yeah. Right. Vanessa oh. Williams was perfect as Terry. Everybody, like, even like he said, Lim's, acting. Yeah. It was strong. Even Ahmad, he, he was perfect to carry it as a yeah. narrator mm-hmm. for somebody so young. Yes. That is, that's. Big uh-huh. mama looked like big mama. Big mama looked yes. like a big mama yes, to everybody. Yeah. Like a big mama. Uh-huh. Yeah. And like I said, um, you know, I was, you know, a little bit of trolling with uh with some of the stuff I was saying. But I do think that uh, you know, all the characters in this movie was casted correctly. And I think, like you said, from even from a written character standpoint, mm-hmm. like you said, Limp, like his like, character was perfect for how it was, for what he right. was going through. Right. He reacted the way he's supposed to. Yep. He reacted like how most, probably a street dude would react in those moments. Mm-hmm. You do this to, like, to my girl, I'm going to react this way. I'm probably going to react to my girl this way. Yeah. The smart yardy Terry reacting mm-hmm. her way. You know, so I, I get I get all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, when he pushed her, I was like, uh, that's... What she did was crazy. And I, I understand why she did what she did. Yeah. And it makes sense. It was like, nigga, but she don't know a lot of niggas. Right. Good nigga that can put it, that can help her husband. Mm-hmm. I know this nigga, I'm going to use what I got to get what I need from him. Right. And it was the, this is, is, is you can't do that. You're a wife. It now. was the wrong play. Your no, wife. She, she was wild for that. Her dude, she, she, she if you marry this guy, that means you know who this guy is. So right. you know who, how your dude is. You know, Lim probably has a hot temper in a sense, and you can't He's do certain, and you certain right. things. Not even just that. Everything else, I can probably not whatever. But you called a dude that used to smash. But who? But to get him a job, fuck out who of schooled yeah. her on on the right move? Maxine. Maxine. Mm-hmm. Terry didn't school her. Terry, but his name, the big sisters, two different type of big sisters. Yes. Terry's a lawyer. She's a fighter. She's feisty. Yeah. She in your ass. She whooped Maxine ass when she found out you fucking with the nigga mm-hmm. I was fucking with. Mm-hmm. I love that. She's right. like, get your ass out the car. Yeah. Big sister, get your. I'm about to mop you. Mm-hmm. I'm about to fade you out. Yeah. And yeah. then oh 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 little sister's tripping. Oh oh so nigga somebody can hit my little sister. Yeah. Oh, Rodney. Everybody played their role. This, this mm-hmm. is casted, and then everybody's whatever breakdown of what their role was mm-hmm. was played perfectly in this movie. I That's why it's a great movie. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's great. So I, I, I won't disagree with even the yeah. five fists because I feel like all black movies, not all, but a lot of black movies after this, they kind of try to take this template. Mm-hmm. Yes, bro. And, and, and don't it. execute it quite as Every a, character I see sure. was realistic. Well. Yes. It was realistic. I feel like yeah. everybody it, was part of our family. I made family. a mistake. Yes. I can I, I see Bird talking about later. Like, I made a mistake. Mm-hmm. I, I, this ex of mine who had, who had a little pool, had a little yeah. money. Mm-hmm. 
trying to get my 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 husband mm-hmm. a job, and it was the wrong thing to do. Her, her I love, teachers were good, but yeah, the yeah. outcome was terrible. I love how everybody took care of Ahmad. Yeah, like like That's what I'm saying, like everybody like. Oh, yeah, you mean Terry that took took him in, let him stay with? Yeah, you, you mean you? That, He's still yeah, trolling. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bert that that showed him how to work hard. Uh, I love in, in how, the shop. I love how there, mm-hmm. right, boom and uh, even also floated in front of him. That's true. Hilarious. Remember, yeah, he did that too. <laughs> even Lim. Yeah, showed you how to turn on the cheek. Go ahead. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> even Lim <laughs> going to Kenny's house to try to talk to him. Give him, hey man, what you think I should do? Mm-hmm. I need advice from the big homie. Yep. And you know what Kenny did? He gave him gave him five dollars in one. That's what he gave him. That was terrible. That was horrible. He said, "Are you sure it was ones? Can you tell?" I you saw. I, yeah, I replayed it. It, was it looked once. like it was like sixty bucks. It was, two, it, like was it was singles, dog. He gave this man five dollars. Maybe I know gas was probably like ninety eight cents back yeah. then. Oh, that's facts. But still, facts. You could have gave him a hot twenty. Yeah. But listen, whatever he, he had to give was significant. Three kids. A wife with three kids. But yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right, that's bad. That's bad. Hey, 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 he's the only breadwinner. Yeah. yeah. But, he should give him something. But he was spinning frivolously, came in with the Mac, came with the Mac. <laughs> Overexcited about the daughter he's about to have. <laughs> right. Why was he so excited about the, the third child? Yeah. And he already had two. I already yeah. had a daughter, but too. Then, like a mom didn't need a laptop. You, you know a nigga 12. <laughs> I, I actually can type on this motherfucker. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This right. motherfucker five days old. Yeah. You got a Mac, you yeah. got a, a, a brand new computer. Yeah. It's going to be outdated by the time she gets yeah. to a yeah. certain age. when Apple was cracked at the beginning of Apple. Right, yeah. right. A mom needed to do his homework, too. Yeah. No laptop for a mom. And how was a mom just going to the hospital all the time by That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was the other part. He was, it was, they were letting him back there. This Public transportation. Yeah, he was. He was. It was Chicago. Yeah, but I guess he was. I guess they would let him back there. Ahmad yeah, was a lot of places by himself, right? Like you know, rolling into the salon by but himself. But that's the '90s. We did. Yeah. That. That's big facts. That's super yeah. big facts. Because I was like, a baby. I was in the '94th, and I was going to 42nd Elementary. True. Yeah, and that was true. and that was in second grade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A good it, movie. Third grade. Yeah. Good, good movie. movie. Hey man, that's another episode of uh, Black Busters. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a great time, man. Brother Baker, man. Thank oh, you man. for <laughs> tapping in, man. Yes, Thank you sir. so much, bro. Yeah, I'm probably going to get cut some heat Hey, this. they about to yeah. be in your ass. Pause. Hey, man, Only I'm, in the comments, nigga. I'm so good. thankful that you were here. Uh, <laughs> right, right. He needed you. He needed you, bro. Yeah. I, I would love for y'all to uh, comment how y'all feel about uh, Brother Baker's take. <laughs> you gotta, and you got to come back. Brother Tones. Oh, you got to definitely come back. Please, for sure. Bro. For sure. Uh, for much sure. love, man. Thank you for um, coming, man. For sure. Uh, Next time, man. We can see y'all next time, bro. I'm Big Ja. It's your boy, Big Tone. Yes, indeed. Brother Kenan Baker. Thank you. Till next time, be good or be good at it. We out of here. Pew to the max. Blackbusters. <laughs>